Uh, now, uh, yeah. we want you to become a member, and, and, I, and if you do, we have a special present, and the present is, of course, Explorers Fortunes and Love Letters. And that's if you join or if you renew. Karen Bove is, is seated in the back of the room. And she will also give all members a 20% discount. We don't want to penalize members. So we'll also give members a 20% discount on the book. It, 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 uh, and we really, I can recommend it. I am not all the way through it, but I am largely through it. Um, and um, I know there was uh, Dr. Garen got one autograph request, and I'm sure that everyone here will uh, sign their names to your books if you so desire. Now, our speakers. Dr. Charles Garing is the director of the New Netherland Project in Albany, and he is really the hero of all historians, having spent 30 years translating 17th century documents, deciphering what almost no one else could to uncover uh, the Dutch records about the origins of New York. And his work is really a centerpiece of Rus Russell Shorto's book, The Island at the Center of the World. That's when I first became acquainted. Um, and uh, among his most recent distinctions, he was the recipient of the St. Nicholas Society of the New York Gold Medal, uh, the Holland Society of New York Gold Medal, uh, as well, um, and the Netherlands Society of Philadelphia gold medal. I don't know about, I, there are some more gold medals out there. Um, prior to his work with the New Netherland Project, uh, Dr. Garing served as translator and editor of New York Colonial Documents at the New York State Library and was the project director of a National Historic Publications and Records Commission grant to compile a guide to Dutch, manuscript, Dutch manuscripts. I note with gratitude that the ex exhibition upstairs is presented in partnership with the New ne Netherland Project, um, and uh, we're very grateful for your help from beginning to end. Uh, Peter Rose, um, so that nobody is confused, is a woman, so Peter Rose is an author and food historian whose research interests focus largely on Dutch cuisine of the colonial era, more specifically on Dutch culinary habits, recipes, and social customs relating to food. She has taught the culinary arts and is the author of several authoritative books, including Food of the Hudson, The Sensible Cook, Dutch Foodways in the Old and the New World, and Matters of Taste, Food and Drink in 17th Century Dutch Art and Life. Uh, and this was co-authored with Donna Barnes. In addition, her work has appeared in many newspapers and magazines, and she's lectured throughout the uh, country. David Voorhees is the managing editor of, um, uh, uh, I would translate it, uh, The Half Moon, but I'm going to do a terrible job of, uh, De Harva, Maine. It, uh, uh, Hyas knows how bad I am. A scholarly journal devoted to New Netherland studies published by the Holland Society of New York. In addition, he is the director of the papers of uh, Jacob Leisler uh, at New York University. Prior to this, he served as the managing reference uh, history editor at Charles Scribner and Sons and was co-editor of the papers of William Livingston. His published, works, his published works include the Concise Dictionary of American History, the Holland Society, a Centennial History, and Records of the Reformed Protestant Church, Flatbush, Kings County, New York. Um, he was a New York State Council of the Humanity Speaker um, in um, 1996 through 1998, and his chapter in Explorers, Fortunes, and Love Letters this is, I really am looking forward to this, covers Dutch roots of uh, colonial New York's factional politics. That certainly sets us up for today. Uh, Dr. Noah Gelfand received his PhD in Atlantic history and U.S. history to 1865 from New York University in 2008. His dissertation was titled, A People Within and Without International Jewish Commerce and Community in 17th and 18th Century 
Dutch Atlantic world. Um, and this is the topic that he covered in, in, in the book. He is a Quinn Foundation Fellow at the McNeil Center for Early American Studies. Uh, he was in 2006 to 2007, and the Truro National Heritage Trust Fellow at the John Carter Brown Library in 2005 and 6. He currently teaches at area universities and is working on a book about Jewish communities in the 